Within NAV 2017, in both the Windows client and here the web client, one of the really nice new features is the extension management feature. This allows me as a user, rather than a consultant or developer, to add new functionality that I've purchased. This new functionality can be delivered as objects by your uh, NAV partner, or ultimately can be purchased through Microsoft's App Source. Here we see that extension management has different views. Here we're in the list view. There's also a, a grid view that shows the extensions that are available to us and whether they are installed or not installed. At the moment, we're looking at the credit management extension, which is currently installed. If I go to view on the ribbon, I can see more details about this extension, the company that provided it, and I can also flow through, for example, to their website for more information. I also have the option of uninstalling, which is as simple as installing. It's a one or two click process. If I uninstall this, the data would remain within the tables, so I can then reinstall at a later date if I wish to, and utilize the same data. For now, we're not going to uninstall, we're going to use this, this extension. So if we now navigate to the credit management setup page, we'll see that there is a, a second part to this addition, which is the credit safe functionality. With the credit management addition, the default configuration option on the ribbon allows you to pull through standard settings from a configuration file. This will include the API URL for Credit Safe Service, and you then need to add your own username and password that are provided by Credit Safe once you subscribe. So you need to subscribe to have an account with Credit Safe, and they will provide you with the web address for their API. They'll also give you a username and a password. These details need to be added in under the connection section on the Fast Tap for Credit Safe. Once they're in place, you then have the options on the report side. You can choose whether you want to retrieve a full or a basic report. The difference being that on the basic report, you get less information. For example, you don't get the commentary uh, for the recent activities or the company's activities. You have the option to enter a language for your, your preference to retrieve reports in. So if we state English, then we will be offered reports in English. If a report is not available in English, say we're checking credit safe scores for a company in France or in Germany, we may then get the option of one in French or German if there's no English one available. If this field is left blank, then when retrieving a report, you'll be given the option of choosing from the available languages. If we now return to a customer card, we can see how this, how this extension will help us. So if we now go and see how this helps us when viewing and working with our customers, if we go to one of our test customers, in this case Jaguar Land Rover, the information that needs to be in place for us to operate the Credit Safe extension is the company registration number and also the country region code. Those two pieces of information together allow the system to pull through the credit report. If we look on the right hand side in the fact boxes, we have an extra fact box now for credit safe data. This is a total of five columns that can be viewed. If we choose columns, we can choose which three of the five to display in this fact box. Here we've chosen date retrieved, which is the date that we've pulled through the report most recently. That way a user can see how up to date the information is and choose whether to incur the cost of having a new report pulled through from the system. The current credit rating and previous credit rating are values out of 100 and show how the company is currently rated by Credit Safe. Last update would indicate when Credit Safe last updated their information and principal activity would tell us the main activities of the company that we're looking for. So we'll leave it with these three columns. And if we go to the drop down, we can then choose to retrieve the latest report. If a report has been in the past retrieved for this company, then the system will remind us that it was re retrieved on a particular date and ask us if we wish to continue. 
is because the service charges per report retrieval. We will continue. And in the background, the system now contacts Credit Safe and pulls through the latest information. We now see in our, our fact boxes, the credit rating is 95 and was previously 90. So this is a very well rated company. If we want to print or to view the, the, the full report, we can also do this here. The drop down menu allows us to go to print. So here it's telling us that we have actually called for this report on three occasions, the most recent being today, and we're going to display the results for the third and most recent search. If we click preview, we can see a PDF generated of this report. So if we click send to, we have the option of presenting it as a PDF document or in Word or Microsoft Excel. We'll stay with PDF here. Now our report is available as a PDF that we can save, email and use as we wish. The information in the fact box on the right hand side remains there when I close the card and return and is there for other users to view now we've called it through once within the system. So if we now return to the customers list in list view The same fact box is available, so if we clear our filter, as we go from customer to customer within this list, where there is data, we can see straight away for some we have done a call and others we haven't done a search. The same functionality can also be used within contacts. For example, a contact within NAV might not yet be a customer, might be used for a quote and might then become a customer, so it might be useful to find out how credit worthy they are review a contact card. In here, if the company has its company registration number and country region code, then we can do the same thing and go out to Credit Safe and call through a report. This would mean that then we'd have a bit more security if we then made these into a customer by going to Create As and Customer. 